Chapman. In recent weeks, leaked data has revealed that Azerbaijan's ruling elite operated a secret $2.9 billion scheme to launder money and pay prominent Europeans, including journalists and politicians. This unfolding scandal shows that the Azerbaijani leadership, already accused by Amnesty International and other NGOs of serial human rights abuses, systemic corruption and rigging elections, made more than 16,000 covert payments from 2012 to 2014 through a network of opaque British companies. Investigations led by the Organised Crime and Corruption Reporting Project has revealed that these illicit payments using reputable banks and secret companies aim to buy political influence and launder Azerbaijan's international image. Just this week, the ASIO annual report warned that foreign governments have been attempting to shape the opinions of the public and of the media in covert influence operations. New South Wales Senator Conchetta Ferravanti Wells visited Azerbaijan recently. Upon her return, she stated on the public record, Australia is a forthright supporter of Azerbaijan's sovereignty and territorial integrity and strongly supports Azerbaijan's position on Nagorno-Karabakh. This bold statement rewrites Australian foreign policy and disregards Australia's long-standing support of the OSCE Minsk Group peace efforts for the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict based on the principles of equal rights and the self-determination of people. I urge the senator to not give in to caviar diplomacy, and not simply because Order. we're talking about— Members' a time has expired.